All right, Woodshop class, it is the final week of Woodshop and of all your classes for that matter. And so for you eighth graders, just want to say, all right, well done. You're almost there. And congratulations if I don't see you in the next meeting for you guys are moving on to high school. So <clears throat> here we go. Let me give you a little heads up on what's going on this week in Woodshop class. So, <coughs> excuse me. We have... In your Google Classroom, you'll probably see, or will see soon, two assignments. Cardboard chair final, and final week option number two. Most everybody I want to do the cardboard chair final. So, for those of you guys who uh, have been on top of your work, you've already done your cardboard chair drawing, you've done your cardboard chair prototype, and now you're gonna do your final cardboard chair full size ready to go, having large human beings sit on them and not having them collapse. So that's what we're hoping for. Now, um, in regards to that, you are going to have all the way until Wednesday to create this cardboard chair final. And I really hope for some good, good stuff. And in this, you'll see there's just one form. And that form is going to look like they always do. And on this one, you'll just have three or four questions. And then, like I always want now, pictures and videos of your stuff. So, I want to see videos of you actually sitting in your chair. Maybe videos, time lapse of you actually creating the chair or what have you. So, be doing that. Um, take pictures for sure, of, if nothing else. Maybe a picture of you sitting in the chair or one of your siblings sitting in the chair or maybe your really heavy uncle sitting in the chair. Okay. That'd be fun to have on video in case it goes south. But anyway, um, want to have some footage of your work. And so please don't um, take a screenshot of something else somebody else did on the internet and make me think that uh, you're trying to say that you built something that was actually done by somebody else. I had someone do that with the wallet project last week. No, no. So. <clears throat> please uh, make sure you're doing your work and that you're documenting your work. All right, so that is what most people are going to be doing. And if you have any questions on the Cardboard Chair Project, please let me know. Some questions that have come in are, what materials can we use? Primarily cardboard. If you want to use some hot glue or some tape, okay, no problem. But mostly I want to see it built out of cardboard and the structure of it being that way. If you can do it uh, without any... Um, tape or any of that, then great. Here's a tip. Cardboard does have strength in one direction more than the other, right? You can see inside here there's ribs that go this way. So it's stronger for the chair to be built with all the ribbing going vertical because you can bend your piece, you know, say this is your leg, but then it's really hard to bend it uh, against those ribs, that grain, as it were. So make sure you think about that. Now, <clears throat> I think everyone that's going to do that is going to do it and do it well. Um, if, you, if it falls on its face and doesn't do well, that's all right. The experience is what we're going for, and I want to know that you learned something from the process. So, for those of you guys who don't have cardboard, are not excited about doing something really fun and interesting and that stretches your brain a little bit, um, there's still some other projects for you, and they're also fun and interesting, but maybe it's just not the cardboard chair. So, if... You can't do that don't want to do that the last thing you can do is this aluminum foil boat uh, assignment here that's the alternative so hopefully everyone has access to aluminum foil and you can at least get a grade for this week in the event that you're uh, unable to do the cardboard chair okay and all the stuff is in here there's a few videos to watch and then there's uh, a few different forms to fill out tell me about what you learned okay so, I also want to see some documentation of your boat and how it worked and how much weight it was able to carry. All right. So, <clears throat> that's where we're headed. I hope you uh, understood all that. Again, if you want to, if you didn't get to do the... Sorry, I should have said this earlier. If you did not get to do the first two assignments, like you know, the prototype or week six assignment, I would recommend looking in here at the part one. There's a part one form that has a video 
of people building chairs out of cardboard and a good uh, article here. So <clears throat> look at those two things if you haven't gotten to already, and that would really help your process of building this week. Okay, folks, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I look forward to seeing you one last time before summer comes, and I also hope to see that summer is somewhat COVID-free. We'll see what happens. Anyway, be well. Have a great week.